In the mid-19th century, scientists strongly believed that the moon was dry and airless, based on the fact that there was no observable weather on the moon. But that's what we think an average person these days, so today I'm going to clarify the idea of the lunar water. My name is Yuskemis, and let's get right to it. Now, I know that the most obvious answer is that there is no water on the moon. Because the moon has only got the sixth of the Earth's gravity force, that would mean that any particle moving at a speed of 2.4 km a second would just fly off to space. Not only that, there is also something called solar wind, which is the stream of charged particles coming from the sun and that's going to blow away any remaining particles in the moon. So how could there be water? Well, in 2009, scientists have struck the moon with a rocket piece that made the explosion high enough to get captured by cameras orbiting the moon. And now, scientists have estimated that 5.2% of the particles coming from that explosion was water. But that was only the permanently shadowed regions of the moon. Regions that never see the sun and that can get cold to the point of minus 250 degrees Celsius. And that's where the rocket piece was struck. But where did all that water come from? Well, from three sources actually. The first one is obviously the water containing comets and asteroids that have struck the moon over the years and that have found their ways into those regions. The second is that in some samples, scientists have found little glass beads that when cut in half found water in them. And that means that the moon had water in it when it was still volcanically active. And finally, the third one is the lunar water itself. Don't forget that solar wind is constantly exposing the moon to protons, which can react with oxygen to ultimately form hydroxide. And this discovery that they made is very mind-blowing, because future space travels could use that valuable resource, not only to hydrate themselves, but also to grow plants, and that could be the gate to humans becoming a multi-planetary species in the future. Okay guys, that is all it for the video, thank you for watching. Don't forget to vote for me on Race to Space, the details are all down below, and thank you for watching.